History of Architecture 4. The National Museum of the Philippines is the repository and guardian of the Philippines' natural and cultural heritage. As one of the lead government cultural agencies, it is tasked to achieve the goals of instilling cultural consciousness and a sense of pride and nationalism among Filipino citizens through its activities covering the sciences, education, and culture. The National Museum began as the Insular Museum of Ethnology, Natural History, and Commerce in 1901. The building was originally designed as the public library by Ralph Harrington Duane, the American consulting architect of the Bureau of Public Works, and his assistant, Antonio Toledo. Construction began in 1918 and completed in 1921. When it was decided that the building should be used by the legislature, the revisions of the plans was entrusted to Juan Arellano. The facade of the building had classical features using stylized Corinthian columns, ornamentation, and Renaissance-inspired sculptural forms. The legislative building was a casualty during the bombing and shelling of Manila in 1945. In mid-1996, the Senate of the Philippines moved out of the building. In 2003, renovation started to transform it into the National Art Gallery. Portico adorned the entrance of the legislative building. Over it is a triangular pediment with sculptures representing Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Law, Education, Commerce, and Agriculture. On each side of the building is a two-column portico complementing its central facade. The sculptures were designed and made by Otto Fischer Credo, a German expatriate who resided in the Philippines during the pre-war years. The main lobby has the neoclassical features such as lacunaria on its ceilings. The Hall of Masters has two large paintings, El Asesinato del Gobernador Bustamante and Spolario. The Luis Ablaza Hall houses the religious art from the 17th to 19th centuries. Carved wooden saints, reliefs, paintings, and a retablo from San Nicolas de Tolentino in the Miabo Hall can be found here. Philippine Art Gallery contains the academic and romantic art. The Fundacion Santiago Hall houses the academic and neoclassical sculpture by the 19th century master Filipino sculptor Isabelo El Tampinco. Dr. Jose Rizal exhibit serves as the homage to Dr. Jose Rizal, who was known widely for his patriotism and acclaimed novels Noli Metangere and El Filibusterismo. Displayed here are several portrait busts and paintings of Rizal by eminent Filipino artists from the early to mid-20th century. Juan Luna and Felix Resurrection Gallery displays classical art from the 20th century by late contemporaries Luhan Luna, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, and numerous other artistic successors who shaped Philippine art prior to the advent of modernism in the country. The Silvina and Juan C. Laya Hall shows works portraying conflict and suffering during the Imperial Japanese occupation from 1941 to 1940. The Old Session Hall of the Senate of the Philippines is a chamber like no other in the country. Soaring three stories to the top of the old legislative building, the hall was clearly intended to be nothing less than a secular cathedral, a temple of wisdom for enlightened debate and making of laws. The standing figures of the entablature represent great lawmakers and moralists of history, ranging from antiquity and biblical times to the 20th century. This include Calantiao and Apolinari Mabini on the east wall, Pope Leo XIII and Woodrow Wilson on the west, 
Moses, Hammurabi, Ramses the Great, Lee C., Augustus, and William Blackstone on the North Wall, and Solon, Averroes, Justinian, Manu, Charlemagne, and Hugo Grotius on the South Wall. Surrounding the cartouches on all four walls are allegorical groupings representing sovereignty, progress, arts and culture, industry, trade, farming, education, and so on. National Museum of Anthropology The National Museum of Anthropology, formerly called the Museum of the Filipino People, is a component museum of the National Museum of the Philippines that houses the anthropology and archaeology divisions. It is located in the Agrippina Circle, Rizal Park, Manila, adjacent to the main National Museum building which houses the National Art Gallery. The building was formerly housed by the Department of Finance. Civic and government edifice built during the American occupation would always stand out as it reminds us of the importance of these institutions. The Manila City Hall is one of the key government buildings constructed in American Manila. The Manila City Hall was designed by architect Antonio Toledo and was built in 1939. The City Hall is adorned by a hexagonal tower with three clocks on three of its facets. After its completion, the building received negative reviews for its lack of aesthetics lack of entrances and how the clock tower was placed. Sadly, the city hall was not spared from the ravages of war. During the Battle of Manila, the city hall was heavily damaged from shelling. After the war, the city hall was rebuilt through the war reparations program of the United States and was criticized due to the shape of its floor plan, which looked like a coffin or a shield of the Knights Templar. According to urban legends, it was made to look like a coffin to pay homage to those who died during the Battle of Manila.